And once I started to shift my thinking and make that choice, everything changed and everything started to shift for me. And I allowed myself to believe in myself. And I think that's one of the biggest shifts that I could have made. And that's a shift that I hope for you. I hope you allow yourself to believe in yourself. What's going on everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I wanna talk about something just a little bit slightly different than Amazon. And it's gonna to have to deal with our mindset. I believe it's so important to achieve the success, the goals, the different things that you want to have or accomplish in your life. It's not just necessarily doing the tactics and, and going and getting the results. Those results come from your mindset and adopting a new mindset, being able to grow into the type of person that you need to be in order to accomplish those things. And so I want this channel to be a lot about Amazon and also mindset and different things, helping you grow as a person. Because when you grow as a person, you are able to grow into your goals. You're able to accomplish things faster and better and easier because you acquire the skills, the character traits in order to get there. And so I think that mindset is the biggest factor as far as getting from where you are now to where you wanna be. Because without belief in yourself, without um, you know the ability to take action and believing that you can, then you're never gonna take the simple steps that it takes uh, in order to achieve the results that you have. So today I wanna talk about the power of choices, right? Your choices and the different decisions and choices that you may have made and that I made in my life that have got me certain outcomes, right? That have led me to where I am today, that led me to places where I hit my rock bottom and I was completely embarrassed and ashamed of my life and the things that I was accomplishing and, and creating in my life and what made me finally wanna switch uh, and pivot from those different types of things. And what it really boiled down to was the one realization that I am in complete control over my life. I was exactly where I was and I'm exactly where I am today because of the choices and the decisions that I made in my life. And I had to take that responsibility and put it on my shoulders. And it was very hard for me to do at first. The more, that's why they say pressure creates diamonds, right? The more pain I started to get into in my life and the further down the wrong road I traveled, the easier it was, I suppose, for me to start to put uh, responsibility on my shoulders and say, listen, for things to change, I need to change. There's no way that I'm gonna get out of this hole. There's no way that I'm gonna get anything different in my life if I continue to do the same things, right? The government, the, uh, you know, the president, um, you know, your, your parents, no one is coming to save you. No one was coming to save me. And so what I needed to do was make different decisions so that I could get different outcomes, right, in my life. So what I wanna do today is I wanna show you two different choices that I was able to make in my life that helped me tremendously to move up, to uh, grow and to accomplish you know, things that I've never even dreamed of accomplishing as far as just being able to work for myself and uh, the quality of life and different things like that. And what you really find out is that the hard part is only making the decision. Once you start, once you actually decide and then you take the steps necessary and you commit to that one thing, um, it's very, very easy because when you do the right things, you get the right outcomes, right? And if you do wrong things, you get bad outcomes. It's very, very simple. And it's, it's something that I, I feel like it was, it sounds logical, but it was something I had to learn the hard way. And so if you stay to the end of the video, what I used to do, you know, after I started making a lot of these different changes in my life was I recorded myself on my phone back when it was tough because I knew that one day I would look back at these times when I couldn't see more than than two inches in front of my face, right? Because we can't see the future. It's unknown, it's uncertain. Um, but I knew that one day I would eventually get to the place I wanted to get to and to look back and to be able to say, man, it was worth it. You know, to, to have that story. To me, that was important because I I always knew that I needed to pass that on, right? I was so I was at such a point where there was such a huge information gap. How do I get across the bridge? How do I make more money? How do I get out of the situation that I'm in? How, right? I just needed someone to show me, how am I supposed to do this? And so I knew that there would be a lot of people like that. And hopefully if I could just help one, then that would be the true meaning of, of value in my life, right? So what I did is I used to record myself on my phone. And at the end of the video, I'll play you one of those videos um, so you can see where I was and my mindset and how that one choice literally changed everything for me. So the other choice that I made was this right here, and I'm sure you can see my bookshelf. Now, it's not that I just started buying books and, and you know, I decided to start reading. 
Basically what happened was that I used to go out every single weekend, right? Friday and Saturday. And then during football season, I'd go out Sundays too. So I would go two to three days a week and I would go out to the bar and I would drink and I would get drunk right now. You can imagine those choices and the type of outcomes I was getting because of those things, right? I was spending money on something that I was ingesting. It was getting me into an intoxicated state. Uh, It kills brain cells, right? All the things that come along with me drinking and being, uh, you know, doing those things three days a week without fail. I did that because I thought that that's just what everybody does, right? You work hard all week, you go out with your friends and you blow off some steam on the weekends, right? So I was just doing what I thought was normal. But as I was taking those actions, it really led me down a path that I didn't want to go on. I was I was not making a lot of money. So spending money on these things uh, was was draining my bank account. Right. I didn't really feel great the next day, you know, as far as getting hangovers and stuff like that. And then by Monday, when Monday came around, I really didn't have anything to show for it except just negatives in my bank account. I wasn't making really great memories with my friends. If anything, I was I was making stupid stories that I was embarrassed of, that I was completely ashamed of, and that I didn't want anybody to see me in that state or hear about what may have happened on a Friday night, right? So what I did was when I made a shift, I made a new choice that I would still spend the same money every week. So what I did was I went into my bank account and I started looking at the amount of money that I was spending on a weekend going out. And it was around 75 bucks to $100 a weekend on alcohol. And so what I did was I still spent the same amount of money. I figured, okay, if I'm spending $75 a week, I've been doing that for the last three years, I could still spend that same amount of money, but instead of spending it on alcohol and booze, I'm gonna spend it on books. And so with that one change, you could see how many of these could have been a shot, could have been a pitcher of beer, could have been a drink, And so now instead of not having anything to show for it, besides, you know, losing brain cells, stupid stories and, you know, uh, you know, negatives and withdrawals in my bank account. Now I have books that provide me with information, mindset shifts, ideas, things that thought are thought provoking and things that have literally changed my life. Right. Case in point, Tony Robbins. This is one of the first books I ever bought. And I went to one of his seminars, Awaken the Giant Within. This is one of the first books I ever read. The one thing that I read in here was that just one sentence, one paragraph, one idea can open up the floodgates of your mind. And I'll never forget that sentence. And ever since then, I have just been in a relentless pursuit to find that one thing that would just open up the floodgates to my mind and allow me to achieve and just explore my potential as a person. And what I found was another unbelievable quote that I have hung back there because I truly feel as though it opened up the floodgates in my mind. And that quote is there are people less qualified than you doing the things you want to do simply because they decided to believe in themselves, period. And so with that one thought, it changed everything for me. Because it's not that people are smarter than me or they were better than me or in a better situation than me or can learn better than me or anything. I'm not smarter than you. I'm not smarter than anybody else. But what people had that would achieve, that I would see that have this life that I may have wanted to live, they believed in themselves. And what they did with that belief, they were able to take a step forward. They were able to allow themselves to learn new things. They were able to jump into these unknown spaces as far as, you know, learning a new skill or, or trying something completely different that you've never done before. And that belief took them through that cloud of fog. And when you step through that, you realize there's absolutely nothing on the other side that can hurt you. And so that one quote, that one idea literally changed my entire life because of the choice that I made to stop spending money on drinks and shots and getting drunk and to start spending money on books and different things that could fill my brain with good things. Because before I was filling my body with something that was negative. And so if I take something and I do good things, you get good outcomes. I was doing a bad action and I was getting undesirable outcomes. I started investing in books and education and I started getting unbelievable outcomes. I started uh, to, to start thinking differently and saying, man, I've never heard something like that before. What if I tried it? What if I just I just started reading a book a day? What if I started reading a book a month? What if they say, you know, in these books, it says that I'm in control of my life. And if I if I pursue things that may not be popular to other people as far as entrepreneurship, 
you know, investing in courses, um, you know, learning from other people that have done something rather than trying to worry about if I went to college for it and well, I didn't really learn that, but just following someone else's success path and copying exactly what they did, then why wouldn't I be able to have the same results? And once I started to shift my thinking and make that choice, everything changed and everything started to shift for me. And I allowed myself to believe in myself. And I think that's one of the biggest shifts that I could have made. And that's a shift that I hope for you. I hope you allow yourself to believe in yourself because when you believe in yourself, you do whatever it takes. You know that you will be successful. It's just taking the steps every day to get there. So that was choice number one that really changed my life and what really helped me to start achieving different goals. Now, choice number two. Choice number two was to start giving up and sacrificing in the short term, short term pleasures for long term gains. And so what I did at that time was I was working eight to six every single day, Monday to Friday. And what I did was actually go out and get a second job so that I could work even more hours, give up my weekends, give up holidays, give up times with friends and sacrifice for a short amount of time period so that I can save money, I can invest in myself, and then I'll be able to live a life that I only dreamed about. Now, again, at the time, you don't know how long that's gonna be, but I thought about for the rest of my life, and God willing, I live to be 80, 90, 100 million years old, right? But I figured if it only takes me two, it took me 30 years to get to this place, right? To where I was unhappy, I was unfulfilled, I was doing things that I wasn't enjoying, I wasn't making money that I was that I wanted to be making. I, I didn't feel like I was adding any value. I didn't know why I was alive, honestly. And I was, again, I was completely embarrassed I was embarrassed of myself. I was embarrassed of the things that I had and that I accomplished. And I was embarrassed to tell people, you know, about where I worked, what I did, you know, my accomplishments, because they were so average. They were so below average that it was embarrassing. It was like there was something inside of me that knew like, that's it. You know, you're here for one life. You're here for one small brief moment in time. You need to make it magnificent. And so what I did by going and, and getting a second job and different things like that was just fully commit to the process. And again, I didn't know how long it would take. But I figured if it took me 30 years to get here and to get all things that I hate, I could spend two, I could spend five, I could spend 10 even to be able to accomplish the things that I want to accomplish to elevate myself and my life so that the rest of my life would be exactly as I designed it. It would be exactly what I want, right? Because you're, you're gonna be in the struggle for a short amount of time and then once you get on the other side of it, like now that was basically two years for me. I've been on the other side of it now three plus years. So I've been outside of the struggle longer than I was in it, right? And that choice to really just go deeper and just to sacrifice for a little bit of time in order to achieve exponential results was something that changed my life. And so this is hopefully illustrates how just small little choices can really change the outcomes that you're getting in life. If you want to grow, if you want to do something different, if you want to make more money, uh, you know, ex uh, experience different things in life, travel more, impact other people's lives. If those are things that you want to do, those were some things that helped me. I would just ask myself simple questions. Is the thing I'm about to do going to be a positive influence on my life? Can positives come from it? Or will negatives come from it? It was as simple as that, right? You do bad things, you're going to get bad outcomes. If I did good things, you can't help but get good outcomes. You can't do all the right things and get wrong back. It just doesn't work that way. So I knew that if I worked more, if I saved more, if I invested more in myself, my brain, my body, different things like that, I knew that only good things would come from it, right? But I knew if I kept drinking, I knew that if I kept, uh, you know, screwing around and, and playing video games and doing things that weren't valuable for me or my life or especially my future, I knew that that nothing would change. So I would always ask myself that question and those things helped me out tremendously. And what I'm going to do is show you now this video that I recorded of myself going into work on a Saturday and I was, uh, you know, visibly upset that, that I was, I was still doing this, you know, and that I have to give this time up, but I knew the purpose. I knew my why behind it. And at the end of the video, I say, see you on the other side. And because I knew I'd be standing right here doing the things I'm doing right now and hopefully sharing these things with other people. And so to hear that moment and to see myself back then, to say, see you on the other side and to be here now, I know that it was all worth it. And I hope those things for you. 
So if you guys like these videos, please, uh, you know, click the subscribe button, comment, like, share, do all the cool things so that YouTube's algorithm can share my channel to other people. I hope this helped you. And I have more Amazon videos coming out as well. But every once in a while, I do want to introduce a mindset video because I believe that it doesn't matter how much product research tactics, negotiation tactics with suppliers, uh, PPC tactics, teaching you how to sell all these different things that I can show you as far as being successful on Amazon, you won't execute on any of them and none of them will make any sense if you don't believe that you could be a top seller or that you, if you don't believe, you know, that you can actually learn something new, be successful and be able to make that money. You have to become that person first for all the other stuff to work. So hopefully you guys like this video. Again, like, subscribe, comment if you can. I look forward to seeing you again in future videos. And here's that video that I made of myself. I'll see you guys in the next one. Another Saturday. Look at this weather. It's beautiful weather. It's like 80 some degrees outside. But I don't get to enjoy that. I have to go to my second job now. My monster, because I'm friggin' exhausted. But I have to go to my second job now on a Saturday. Even in this beautiful weather when all the rest of my friends are partying and having some beers and cooking out and everything. I have to go to work because I have made the commitment that I have to forego immediate pleasure uh, for a long-term lifestyle that I want to build. So I need to do this in order to feed money into my Amazon business so that I could try to make an order and try to, try to never have to work a Saturday or a day again for the rest of my life. So, you know, 3.58 on a Saturday, going to work beautiful outside 80 some degrees you can see that 86 degrees it's beautiful but this is what I got to do so it's another day another chapter in the journey and this is what motivates me I don't have to work today but I do have to work today to me you know because this is what's gonna get me there you know it's gonna get me there faster so I have to work now suffer now so that I I have leverage on myself so that I don't, you know, because I don't ever want to do this again. I don't want to work on Saturday. So that's the leverage that I need, the motivation to go forward, to keep going and get this shit done with. So see you on the other side.